Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So GX posted an interesting article recently where they are saying now that Chrome and all other Chromium-based web browsers can collect site engagement statistics. And apparently the site engagement basically measures how engaged you are with a particular site. And um, apparently the browser uses it as an example to prioritize tab discarding or allowing and or blocking certain invasive features. Now, if you'd like to check um, on Google Chrome or any other Chromium-based web browser like Brave, Edge, Vivaldi, Opera, and so on, we head to our address bar and we enter chrome colon forward slash forward slash site dash engagement. Now, obviously, if you are using another browser, just enter the name accordingly instead of Chrome. Just hit enter. And here we go. Yeah, is our site engagement. Now, we can see here that the score ranges from 0 to 100 with 100 being super engaged and zero not at all. And yeah, you can see that YouTube Music, Google.com, YouTube, um, Gmail as an example, those are my top engaged sites. And then obviously that uh, peters off um, as we go down and my engagement gets less. Now apparently this data is not synced like your other browsing data across your different devices and is device and profile specific. So it's basically for your local uh, device and your browser on that device. So it's not synced, which is good news. But although this information is deleted when the browser is shut down, if you are concerned about privacy for whatever reason regarding the site engagement, because if somebody has access to your device and your browser, they can actually see which sites here um, that you are engaged with. Now, I personally don't have a problem with this. Um, I don't think this is a widespread privacy um, intrusion, to be quite honest with you. And personally, I would just leave this alone. And if, and if you aren't bothered by this, I would just ignore this and leave it alone. But if you are concerned about the site engagement as a privacy hazard on your device, then um, you can actually uh, delete this site engagement by clearing your browsing data on a regular basis, which I basically do um, on a weekly basis. That's why these scores are quite low because I actually cleared my browsing data about a day or so ago. Now on Google Chrome, as many of you may know, to clear your uh, browsing data, we just head to our main menu, History, click on History, and click on Clear Browsing Data. And what you need to do is you need to select All Time. And then you just check all three boxes, Browsing History, Cookies and Site, other site data, cached images, and so on. And then you clear that data. Now, I'm not going to clear my cookies and other site data because that will obviously means I've got to sign into a lot of my different services and web pages, which I don't want to do. But you get the idea. So you need to check all of those boxes. And then you click on clear data. And after a second or two, that will clear your browsing data. Then what I would suggest is close Google Chrome, open the browser again. And now if we head back to our site engagement, there should be a lot less. Now you can see that obviously nothing has changed in my case because I didn't clear my cookies and site data. So obviously you need to clear cookies and site data for this to be effective. But you will see now when you come back here, you will just see a demo website and all this data will be deleted. And that means obviously your site engagement history and data as shown on this page will um, have been removed. So if you are um, concerned about privacy, just clear your browsing data on a regular basis, but just make sure that cookies and other site data is selected in that browsing history to make sure that this is and the site engagement data is removed completely. So just wanted to put it out there. And as mentioned, that was posted by GX and thought it was interesting because obviously we do talk about Google Chrome quite a lot on this channel. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.